What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time, I'm reviewing Cocaine Bear. That's right, Cocaine Bear. What you hear is what you get, goddamn it. Yep, the title, it's a movie about a black bear, damn it, that, that bear is on coke. I hate the fact that he's black because it's, it's making us look bad as blacks. Now we all coked out in the woods, but it's a black bear. And the bear gets high on cocaine and goes on a murderous rampage through the Georgia or Tennessee woods. Now the wild part is that this is based on true events. Based on true events. Not the murderous rampage part, but a bear on cocaine. Yes. But Tony, how did the bear acquire the cocaine? Well, the real story involves a drug smuggler who dumped loads of cocaine in plastic containers over the Tennessee wilderness, and he ended up dying instantly because his parachute failed. That's crazy. All the containers had been ripped open with their contents scattered, and the bear is said to have had three to four grams of cocaine in his bloodstream. Now, the most individuals who are not cocaine vets could OD on as little as 1.2 grams, and the bear was only 175 pounds. So we're not talking grizzly Kodiaks here. But the movie, though. The movie is just what you expect. Leave your brain at home and come see people get ripped to shreds by a coked-out bear in these wilderness streets. It's funny, it's silly. It's some, Even with the gore, it's like lighthearted. The cast includes Carrie Russell, who plays a single mom looking for her daughter who is out there in these cocaine woods. Alden Ehrenreich and O'Shea Jackson Jr. play drug dealers sent to retrieve the bags of coke that are all over the woods because the dead drug smuggler made the news. And now they are sent by Ray Liotta, who is the father of Alden's character. And this, of course, is one of Ray Liotta's final roles. Isaiah Whitlock, who we may know from The Wire as Clay Shit Davis, who's a cop trying to find the narcotics. And also Margot Martindale, who plays a park ranger. Both of these actors, by the way, are in the show that I watch all the time called Your Honor. It's funny that they're both in it. And the character that has the hots for her is played by Jesse Tyler Ferguson from Modern Family. He's an animal lover, but don't call them that. Hilarity and murderous mayhem ensue. Peeps try to find their daughters. They trying to find the cocaine. They trying to survive the Tony Montana of the woods. The film is directed by actress Elizabeth Banks, who has an extensive resume on the acting tip, who is also building her directorial resume as well. She directed Movie 43, Pitch Perfect 2, Charlie's Angels 2019, and now Cocaine Bear. This might be her first hit, though. What I liked about this movie is that it was gory and it was unpredictable. I didn't know who was going to live or die, and that always makes it more entertaining when you don't know who's going to live or die. So I like that kind of view. And the way that people died was hilarious. And O'Shea Jackson Jr. looks just like his dad, Ice Cube. He looks, he looks just like him, and he has a great acting range. And the bear was coked out and adorable when it wasn't on the rampage. Why are bears, why are bears so goddamn adorable? They can rip you to shreds. They can rip you to shreds, but they are so cute, man. Who's playing these games in these nature streets? The bear was coked out, but forget all that. Forget all that, man. The coked out bear, the, the adorableness of straight savage killers. Y'all wanna know the smooth jazz review of Cocaine Bear. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving Cocaine Bear three and a half saxophones out of five. It's a good time. Y'all might be like, yo, Tony, you give a movie like, let's say Creed three, four saxophones, but you give Cocaine Bear three and a half. You gotta go in genre by genre, expectation per expectation. Now, I went to the theater just looking to laugh at the ridiculousness of a coked out bear in the wilderness. And that's exactly what I got. I left my brain at home, silliness, hilarity, gore ensued. It was entertaining, it was a good time. It was three and a half, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, you know what I'm talking about? All right, y'all, that's my review of Cocaine Bear. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments section below. Did this movie look too crazy for you to participate in? Let me know in the comments section below. It, it, this is a true story I, I had no idea about until this movie came out. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. And the fact that it really happened is wild. And I feel sorry for that bear. You know, the bear was like, he was coked out. They don't know what cocaine is. Listen, y'all, leave your cocaine out of the wilderness, man. 
Don't be out there with your cocaine, because there's animals out there, man. You don't want them to be coked out. And now he's an old D. Now his family looking at him crazy, like, yeah, man, he was on that shit. He was on that shit. Now his family's like thinking he less than. He thought it was baking soda or maybe like some, uh, I don't know what cocaine is, sugar. You know, the bears like the sweets. And the, and the bears are going to eat. You put them in the plastic containers, that looks like food. You got to think about the bears. And the bear was only 175 pounds. That's a human. That's an adult human. Now he coked out. Now he OD. He had a shirt on. His shirt was open. That bear was dead with his shirt on. With a big collar on it. Tony Montana. And this was the 80s. So that bear definitely looked like Tony Montana when they found it. Man. Anyway, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.